So I'm in the car waiting for my daughter's swim practice to finish. So I thought I would answer a few questions that I got this week, um, you know, particularly about strength training and lifting and trying to build muscle at the same time that you're doing a um, long distance endurance activity like Ironman. Um, you know, the answer is really, you know, you're not going to really work on strengthening and building muscle during these long, long events. Um, I mean, you can try, but you're going to, it's going to be pretty self-defeating. Um, what I mean by that is you can still maintain your strength and you might build, you might increase your strength, but you're probably not going to put on an appreciable amount of muscle um, while you're training for something like Ironman. It, the volume of training is just going to leave you kind of deflated, um, you know, too tired to really push and recover enough from the strength training, not to mention just getting enough calories to build muscle. Um, but what you can do is really do a good job of building a strong foundation in the off season. Um, or you can do kind of what I do is I kind of do short term specialization. You know, when I have a race coming up, you know, the, make the goal the goal, right? You're going to swim, bike and run. Um, and that's going to take precedence over any lifting and things like that. But in the off season, like in the winter, when I don't really have any races going on, I might just have like a run or something like a half marathon. Um, you know, I can really push the strength. That's when I do my heavy lifting, like where I actually go and do barbells and um, some kettlebells and stuff um, to work on power. But um, then I just hold on to that while I'm doing all the swimming, biking and running. And, you know, depending on the length of the race and depending on what your goals are is really going to dictate how much time you devote to each. Um, it would be impossible for me to tell you, you know, each person specifically what um, you should do, right? Because every person's situation is really different. Um, you know, like right now I'm training for a marathon, um, December 5th, and I just came off of triathlon, so I'm not as strong as I normally would be, but I also have my level two RKC, um, Russian kettlebell certification to do. Um, but the good thing is, is I'm pretty, um, I already have a good foundation in kettlebells, so I could probably pass the test tomorrow. Um, it just wouldn't be very pretty, <laughs> but you know, I'm going to be doing that. And then once I finish that at the end of this month, then I'm going to be really focusing on the marathon. And so in this time frame, I'm biking and swimming has really fallen off the wayside. And that's just, you know, how it is. So right now my swimming and my running, uh, my, my swimming and my biking is going to probably suck. Um, you know, it's a little demoralizing. You see your power numbers drop and you see your time slow down, but it is what it is. You got to make the goal, the goal, you, your body only has so much recoverability and, um, you know, doing too many things at once, just going to make you tired and you're probably not going to reach your goals for either sport.